Hello everyone and welcome to the Tactical Tavern. I'm your host Tomas Las and in this video we're reviewing the 511 Double Duty Tactical Pen version 1.5. Specifically, we're going to see how this pen stacks up against the Tactical Tavern test with 25 possible points based on price, functionality and design, dependability, versatility and carryability. Let's get right into this. First up is price and this pen retails for around $50. I think for the materials used, this price is pretty reasonable. It scores a four to five on pricing. Next up is functionality and design. This pen measures five and a half inches overall. Starting from the top and working our way down, we have a rubberized attraction pad that helps absorb impact and make sure you have a really strong grip. On the cap, you have a semi-glossed black coating and the pocket clip is held on with two screws, which I've never had to adjust. I also really like the pocket clip because it is low profile and doesn't scream tactical pen when it's sitting in your pocket. Working our way down, we have a textured middle section with two O-rings that help secure the pen open and closed. Then you have a slight dip here that goes into the fluted section and all the way down to the tip. When you open the pen, you're gonna see that you have a mirrored image. It's gonna mimic the exact same side as the impact and creates a smooth transition to the writing surface. Fueling this pen is pressurized Parker medium quick flow inserts. This is a temporary fix for my usual Fisher space pen inserts, which allow you to write in rain, underwater, and even in space if you so happen to find yourself there. A feature I really do not care for is the twist direction for the cap and body. They are opposite ends and a few times I've unscrewed the pen trying to tighten the cap and for some reason it really just bugs me. I think it would have been way more functionally pleasing if the body screw was placed under the cap. Carrying this pen for years I have found it is difficult to open one handed because of those screws. However, I really do enjoy the sharp tip this pen has and also the hourglass cap that really fills the hand. This pen scores a four to five on functionality and design. Next up is dependability. I've been carrying this pen for about five years and the wear and tear certainly shows. However, I find it aesthetically pleasing. Biggest issue I've had with dependability is the rubber cap falling off. I've super glued it on twice now and although it doesn't change the functionality of the pen, it certainly does increase the comfort as well as the aesthetics. Other than this small issue, the pen has been there when I needed it most, as an impact weapon, as a control device, and even an impromptu writing instrument. This pen holds ink for a very long time and very rarely requires refueling. Overall, this pen scores a four out of five on dependability. All right, next up is versatility. The one thing about this pen is it does look very tactical. I've been stopped on more than one occasion because of its looks. However, I just tell them that it's for calligraphy and it works every time. Further adding to the versatility is that this pen is TSA approved. Other than its tactical hard uses, I've used this pen as a great writing instrument. For extended periods of time of note taking, it's very comfortable because of those ergonomics. Because this pen is great for non-permissive environments and as a backup writing instrument, this scores a four to five on versatility. Just be cautious that some of the looks may grab a little bit of unwanted attention. Next up, we have carryability. What I really love about this pen is the pocket clip design, the way that it tapers and how securely it fits, it has never failed me. One thing to note is that the striking end of this pen is very sharp. On more than one occasion, I've had it jam into the side of my leg when sitting or doing other random strenuous activities. The Coke bottle shaped neck allows for easy deployment out of the pocket, and I really like how it ends up seating in your hand from a variety of angles. For carryability, this pen scores a three out of five. The main things on it are that tip that I had to knock down just a little bit so it didn't come through my pants, as well as having that annoying bi-directional twist feature and that rubberized cap. If you're a college student, work in an office environment, or fly frequently, I would recommend adding this tactical pen to your everyday carry. Not only is it an amazing writing implement, but it also is a great personal protection tool. I believe 511 is soon gonna discontinue these pens, so if you're interested, I'd highly recommend you pick one up sooner rather than later. The overall final rating for this pen is an 18 out of 25 and is a 72% pass on the Tactical Tavern test. All right, everyone, that wraps up the review of the 511 Double Duty Tactical Pen version 1.5. If you agree or disagree with the review, let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear your opinions. And while you're there, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe because it helps support the channel. Also, make sure you turn on post notifications so you don't miss Tactical Tavern Tuesdays and Thursdays. With that being said, I'll see you in the next video. And remember, be prepared, be practical, stay tactical.